Hi, and welcome to another video by the Peppy Techie. Today we're going to talk about a great little free program called Photoscape. To get this free program and download Photoscape, just use Google and ask for Photoscape or check out timefortech.net and we'll have a link for getting Photoscape. But make sure you click on the free download, the home page. Many of these pages, they have the advertising at the top. This is not what you download up here or down here. You want to make sure you click on the free download button and then download now. You could also go out to download.com and get it. Photoscape X for Mac is here and Video Blend for Mac. All free programs, you can donate to them. It has an animated gift maker. It ha which is located right here. You can combine photos, kind of create a little frame looking for multiple photos using combine or page. It is a batch editor letting you rename or resize pictures as an actual editor, which lets you do some really cool fun stuff uh, without having to spend the huge money for a photo editor. Um, and it has a paper print which allows you to, if you're a music teacher, they especially like being able to have the staffs here for music. So it has different paper. It allows you to rename your pictures. Um, a lot of people like this feature because you can take pictures that maybe were named by your camera and rename them to, to the actual event that you had and then date them and it will renumber them as well. So those are some great little features. There's a lot of things in this one little program that is free. Also all the little programs up here at the top tabs you'll notice are also here. I usually hang out in the circle. So we're going to talk about the animated GIF feature. And we're going to start with just a few pictures here. I've got some police officers that came roaring by. And I'll drop their pictures up here. So you just grab the pictures you want. Hopefully you've put them in order. Or, of course, if you take the pictures in order, they're going to be numerically in order. And that is how it's going to default to bring them in. Because that was how it will sort the file numerically. So there they come. Now I'm going to... This could get very dizzying, so there's a stop button right up here in the upper right. You have change time, which is probably the most critical part of this. It changes the number of frames that show. So for every 100 you enter, that is one second. I put 20, so that's a 20th of a second. So if I was to put 100, that means each picture will show every second, and you will see how much slower and non-giffy this looks. It's just chopped up. But the minute you change that time to 20 or 25, it now looks like they're actually driving down the road. You can stop this. You'll notice there is a change effect over here. And I will tell you that even if you only click one picture here at the top and have it highlighted, change the effect over here, it will change all of the pictures. And that's why I never use it, because you'll notice every picture now has a slide, even though I only had one picture highlighted. It's a big question I get from my uh, students who need help. So I don't ever really use this unless I want to change all the pictures. What I do do is I can right click on a picture, make sure it's highlighted, I can say convert to black. Now there's little, I don't add effects to all the pictures because as you do this gets to be a bigger file. The bigger the file, the slower the load time for people who maybe don't have real fast internet connections. So now if I push play here again for these nine pictures, fades to black and it starts in. So you kind of see the differentiation between the GIF starting and ending. Now, I'm going to take a second to bring in the next set of pictures that I had of the police off the next group of police officers that came roaring in. They were actually leading Santa Claus. As you drop pictures in, even if you try to drop them at the beginning, it won't work. You have to drop them at the end. So this will take a second and we'll come right back as soon as it's ready. Okay, so now all my pictures have loaded. It did take a minute or two to load. Again, I am loading 300 pictures. So it's gonna take a minute for this to work. So now that it's loaded, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this one picture, this last picture of the first group of police officers, and I'm going to add a convert to white. It gives me a little bit of separation. I'm also going to come back to that very first picture, and I'm going to have no effect here at all. Go to the very last picture here, and I'm going to convert that one to black. So then I have true differentiation from the video. So now I've created this animated gift. You can see at a 20th of a second, it looks like these police officers are coming in and it's a video. You can even actually see him wave because I was shooting so quickly and the video is set so fast. So there you go. Really smooth, great looking GIF. Lots of pictures taken to get that really very quick video. So now if you want to see what it would look like on a web page, you can click the web browser button. It will convert it to HTML. It's saving it. And now it shows you how big it will look actually on a web page and what the fade in and out does. You don't have to put the fade in and out. It was just something I wanted to show you. Um, again, really cool to create a GIF when you just took pictures. So now I will save it. I make a folder. I'm going to name it. It always saves it. No matter what you do is A and I GIF. So I'm going to do practice GIF 3. Saved a number of these. Oh, this one's 17 megabytes uh, because I have the effects and it's fairly large. So just before I end today, I'm going to show you that if I do make this a little smaller and I say save, and I'll just do uh, 4, just quickly do this. Give you an idea of what making it smaller as a GIF will do to the actual file size when it comes to loading it for your website or Facebook or whatever you're going to put it. So now it's 8.8. .8, so we cut it in half by making this picture a little smaller. Now it is fairly small, but if the point is to let everyone just see this, you probably don't need it very large. And there it is. I hope you have enjoyed this video by the Peppy Techie, and I hope you'll look uh, for more videos to come from us. We'll talk about the viewer, the editor, uh, in future uh, videos. We'll talk about how you can edit a picture. We'll just drag one in here real quick, and we're going to talk about how to add some of the really cool frames that they have. There's um, all different kind of tools that they have. Um, they have objects that you can bring into the pictures. Uh, so we'll bring in a little cartoon picture here and make it big. So we've got there's text. There's all different kinds of things we can do into this video that we'll be showing you on the next video. So please stay tuned to the Peppy Techie channel. Subscribe so you'll hear all about the videos as we create them. And please like if you enjoyed this video. We look forward to helping you learn more about technology in the future.